Here is the Lionel pre-war Flying Yankee. They made that, uh, Lionel did, from 1935 to about 1941. And uh, the real train uh, came out in 1935. So you can see how fast that Lionel jumped on it. In fact, here is one of their advertisements. This happens to be out of the 1939 catalog. And uh, it came in, in different colors, the silver. This kind of has the gray cap. This one, what this does also. And they made it in a red. But you had the, uh, the locomotive part here that has the motor. Um, sometimes they had a whistle in the back here. This one does not. Um, sometimes they made them without. And uh, then you have two coaches. And then you have the observation car, the last coach in the back. And uh, you can kind of see the way it looks from this end. I think this whole train is about, well, I can't remember. Uh, it's, but, um, but it is a, a pretty train. It runs forward in reverse. The real train, uh, 142 passengers they would put on it. And it ran the East Coast from Boston. It really started in Portland to Boston, back to Portland to Bangor, Maine, back to Portland Back to Boston and back to Portland in one day, 750 miles, the real train. But uh, uh, this is considered the third of the, the streamliners. They all came out like 34, 35, right in there. And I'll let you see it run. It has lights, and this one does not have the whistle. You can go in reverse. That'll be the reverse for today. Let's watch it run in. Watch it running. Here we go. Nice running train. Actually, could get going. Slow down. Some people commented on how close the trains run to the side, and well, I did the best I can on that. There it is. The pre-war flying Yankee by Lionel. Just a beautiful train and beautiful condition for 90 what? 91 years old or so.